Good morning, Dan here from Lead with Nature. Welcome to a beautiful park on the coast of southern Maine. Fall's an interesting time to think about and pay attention to birds. A lot of this series, my Learn a Bird series, has been about learning bird songs. But in the fall, not many birds are actually singing. So I'm here on the edge of a freshwater marsh by the edge of a saltwater inlet. So we could get all sorts of bird uh, in this area, and we do, but very few are singing. For instance, the tufted titmouse usually sings, <whistles> it's just doing that <whistles> kind of calls. The song sparrow, who might do it, <whistles> is doing more like a little chimp kind of call. Not doing it great today. The mockingbirds over here to my right, instead of their long, complex mimicking song, are just doing that. <whistles> That kind of call. So these are what we often call contact calls or call notes, sometimes alarms, and they're often the second kind of vocalization that the field guides and apps will talk about. They'll often start talking about the song, complex, melodious, interesting, fun. And then the second note to these short, sharp kinds of little sounds that help us maintain contact. They're very simple kind of maintenance <laughs> types of sounds that just kind of keep you visually or spatially connected to your peer group as birds. A lot going on right now. All around me. Some of them are sparrows. Some of them are titmice. Not sure what some of them are right now. Gotta go look. I always have the binox. But I just wanted to talk to you about that because in the fall you might be listening for bird song and then be like, there's no birds here. But listen for tiny, small contact notes. And then Go find them, see who it is, and enjoy. Curiosity, lead with that, you're bound to have a good time. Thanks so much for watching, be well.